Mercury, our planet of communication, is cruising through the cardinal currents of Cancer. We have also got a cute little alignment. It's called the Kazemi that's coming at you on the 1st of July, which we're gonna spotlight right here. On June 26th, Mercury, our planet of communication, enters the watery, receptive, caring sign of Cancer. And Mercury's still moving very fast, folks. So Mercury's only gonna be in this caring sign of Cancer through July 11th. So we've got just, you know, a little over two weeks here to soak up the juiciness that this transit can offer. But even though it's gonna be a speedy transit, there is a lot happening here. Mercury is a very busy little planet moving through the sign of Cancer. So let's break some of this down here. So Mercury in Cancer is going to offer us the ability to be silent, to be still, and to listen. Mercury in Cancer is emotional intelligence, being able to listen to what are these feelings telling me right now. I'm doing a lot of this. I'm getting a lot of practice as I have a three-year-old. And so I'm learning a lot about how to navigate these big feelings and how to name them. So Mercury in Cancer is going to help us sort of identify what we're feeling and just sort of allow those emotions to flow. There's a popular saying right now in the parenting world, and it says, you know, you're allowed to have that feeling, but you're not allowed to behave like that. Or, you know, you assert the boundary, but you encourage the emotion. You say the emotion is allowed. So Mercury in Cancer wants to encourage the emotions. And because Mercury is the sign of, it, it, it is a planet of reason, of intellect, um, of making sense of what's happening. Mercury in Cancer is so skilled at that, at making sense of what we're feeling and trying to understand it. So emotional intelligence is the, your keyword for Mercury in Cancer. But what does that mean for us and how can we really take advantage of it? So one of the things that I love about Mercury in Cancer is that Mercury in Cancer people have an album for everything. They've got an album to set the mood for every feeling, every sort of event that triggers like that pattern in the brain that connects to like that summer um, of their senior year when they had their heart broken or the summer of their junior year when they were in love, you know, like Mercury and Cancer has a song for everything, every sort of like good sort of vibey experience and every sort of down in the dumps Sunday, you know, they have a playlist for everything. So Mercury and Cancer is going to help us maybe find some new music and maybe even go down memory lane, like revisit your old playlist from back in the day and, and let, let it flow, let those emotions flow. Um, Mercury in Cancer is considered a mute sign. So it's good at, it's, it's not about taking up space necessarily, taking the air out of the room. It's about just kind of taking it in. Mercury in Cancer is really good at taking in the information. How do I feel? How is that other person feeling? So some key things to take away from Mercury in Cancer is nostalgia. That's going to be a big one receptivity and listening. And then there's like an artistic sort of non-verbal component that Mercury and Cancer can really get into. In other words, what is that painting evoking for me? What is that key change in that song evoking for me? What is this vibe that I'm feeling on this summer day in this busy park full of people and families living up and celebrating their lives, what does, what does that feel for me? So like Mercury in Cancer is so much about what's felt, what is felt and that can't easily be communicated with words, but the poets try, the poets try. So here in Mercury, in, in Cancer land, we're going to have a Kazemi, where Mercury aligns with the heart of the sun. So this is going to happen on June 30th, if you're on the west coast of the United States or further into the Pacific. It may also happen um, if you're on the east coast of the United States or further east, 
like in Europe or Asia or Africa, you're going to be getting um, this Kazemi on July 1st. This is going to be happening at nine degrees Cancer. And so if you're following the Hellenistic definition of Kazemi, it's going to be within that 10th degree, which is technically nine degrees and some change. Um, or if you're following the medieval definition of 17 minutes of a degree, you're going to have a little bit of a tighter um, window. So you're going to want to take a look at that for yourself. But it's largely going to be experienced a little bit quicker because this is Mercury is moving retrograde. So we've got the sun applying, mutually applying to Mercury. So Mercury is also running into the sun. So this Kazemi, the window is a little bit shorter, but don't worry, unless you're using this Kazemi for something like magical, potentially, then you don't have to worry so much about doing something intentional within that moment. Some people like to meditate during the Kazemi to kind of like notice that message, grab onto it. But I've noticed in my practice, because I've had moments in my practice where I'm able to sit and meditate during these Kazemis. Right now, my hands are a little full with two little ones. So I've noticed that, you know, that that Kazemi message doesn't necessarily arrive during that Kazemi. It can arrive later. It can arrive when you're in that hypnotic driving state in the car. It can happen when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're rocking a baby or you just can't go back to sleep. It can happen there. It can happen when there's chatter going all around you and you're just like, it clicks. The Kazemi message is a little quieter. It's a little, you know, remember Mercury is obscured by the sun. It's in the heart of the sun. So it's similarly, it's happening quietly within us. It's not always this loud, um, noticeable light bulb that's going off. Sometimes it's real subtle, but that subtle realization, that subtle shift can, can create some big waves for us in our life. Um, so this Kazemi is special because it is in a trine with Saturn. So we're going to see the sun and Saturn in, in a trine, um, or I'm sorry, we're going to see the sun and Mercury both in a trine with the sun. So that's going to be happening. Let's see here. Let me get those dates. Um, it's going to be happening a little bit before. That's going to be happening on the 28th and the 30th, the 28th for the sun and the 30th for Mercury. So, but they finally catch up both in that together, still holding that trine with Saturn. Saturn brings a great deal of clarity. So a lot of times, um, maybe there's something that we're feeling that we can't put our finger on how, how to, you know, do something about it or what to do about it or what it means. Saturn brings that clarity. This is also happening in the sign of the moon. Cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon deals with magic. The moon deals with intuition. So Saturn is also going to help clarify that for us. So look at your cancer house. Um, there hasn't been too much drama going on in the cancer house. It's been pretty quiet. But nonetheless, there's still this really cute, potent little Mercury-Sun alignment in this very clarifying trine, this very supportive trine from Saturn, which can help clarify whatever we're supposed to see from that. It can also help us materialize it to, to bring it into actuality. So notice, um, you know, notice what's coming up there um, for you. There's also this little sextile here with Jupiter. So we were, we're getting the clarity and we're also getting the optimism. We're also getting the hope. We're also getting that encouragement from Jupiter. So we're getting, we're getting the spark. We're getting the message. We're getting a little bit of that hope and upliftment from Jupiter and the application power from Saturn. So I hope that this Mercury Kazemi is lighting up some cute light bulbs for you. And I hope that it's very supportive and helps you. Um, yeah, I hope it helps you bring something important into being or shift something important in your cancer house that ends up being very supportive and nurturing for you. And that was your Mercury Kazemi, Mercury in Cancer astrology shot of the day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.
Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Timing with Transits, my 11 week mentorship and predictive technique begins on September 21st. We're covering transits, we're covering perfections. We've got a blend of live and pre recorded tutorials and ongoing support throughout the program. So if you want more information on that or you want to snag that early bird rate, head to my website, katherineurban.com.